on October 2nd, 2018, journalist Jamal Khashoggi walked into the Saudi consulate in Turkey and never came back out. Around the time of his murder, a powerful spyware may have been used to surveil his family. Activists, journalists, all are said to have been hacked by spyware developed by the Israeli company called the NSO Group. A consortium of news outlets from around the world, including Frontline, have been investigating the use of the spyware called Pegasus and the Israeli company, NSO Group, that sells it to foreign governments. The government can see anything on the phone, including pictures, contacts, listening into calls. As part of the investigation into Pegasus, Washington Post reporter Dana Priest traveled to Istanbul. Working with the journalism nonprofit Forbidden Stories, the reporters were given access to 50,000 phone numbers concentrated in countries known to be NSO clients. They included journalists, politicians, human rights activists, and Jamal Khashoggi's fiance, Hatija Cengiz. Dana Priest and a producer working for Frontline and Forbidden Stories met with Hatije to verify if her phone had in fact been hacked. What I'm doing is uh, basically a backup. And based on this backup, we will look um, if there is any trace of infection, past or current. What we're looking for is um, traces of a software called Pegasus. Um, I, I remember um, the first days after the murder, a lot of times they try to um, hack my email. Hmm. And then Gmail was sending to me emails at oh. that time. Uh, someone tried to open your account or mm -hmm. something mm -hmm. like that. The simple ones are like that message. Uh -huh. The really sophisticated ones, uh -huh. they don't need a message. Uh -huh. They don't need you to do anything. Really? Yeah. But why do people say uh, the iPhone, the more safe to no one can uh, hack or... That's what the iPhone says, the company. Oh, okay. but it's not true. So the Pegasus software can, if it gets inside, I don't know if it gets inside every time it tries, but if it gets inside, it can turn your microphone on so that it can, whoever is doing it, can listen to what you're saying and what other people are saying. But it also can go into your email, your WhatsApp, your contacts, your pictures, your videos, and it can just steal them all, make a copy of everything. And then, you know, our thought is, if it's doing that against people like you, who are not terrorists or criminals, then why? Part of what we want to show, what we think we know, what we are discovering, and what we're researching is, no, they use it against civilians. And why would they want to know what you're doing? Yes, it's, a, it's my personal life. It's my secret life. Mm -hmm. it, 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 it is not enough to uh, say, please stop after this murder. Please, Yanni, it's, it is, it's over. After getting backups of both Hadija's new phone and the one she was using at the time of Khashoggi's murder, Dana Priest sent them to Amnesty International's security lab for analysis. A few hours later, while on the way back to the airport, she received a call with the results. I guess uh, the spree of bad news is never ending. Mm. Um, so I checked both the uh, the uploads. Um, the new one seems clean to me. The old one, however, has some traces uh, that seem consistent with what we have seen. Oh. Um, so on the 
6th of October of 2018 seems to have been a first a first compromise, um, which was followed by some additional traces on the 9th and then on the 12th, which is obviously, as you know, pretty timely uh, within the context, obviously. Yeah. Uh, wow. She's already been infected, so it's already happened, yeah. so it's great that you're finding it. Yeah, I don't, I don't think... There was no proof that Pegasus had been used to target one of the people closest to Jamal Khashoggi around the time of his death. In a statement, NSO Group said its technology was not associated in any way with Khashoggi's murder. The company said it was on a life-saving mission, preventing terror attacks and serious crimes. But in addition to Hatije, Frontline, Forbidden Stories, and the partner news outlets are investigating the cases of journalists, human rights activists, politicians, and others in more than 50 countries who may have been targeted for surveillance.